Hello, and welcome to another video of Bendy Corn. Today, we are not in Fortnite, but we are shooting that there barrel. If you couldn't tell. Anyway, try it. Um, today, we are doing an airsoft review. The gun wasn't in yet, so that was a mistake. It just... Anyway. The Walther B20... This is a gun I got a few days ago, because my birthday was a few days ago. And, I gotta say, I really like it. There would usually be an orange tip here and a silencer that attaches to it, but I didn't get the tatsler, or I didn't get the silencer or the orange tip, because as soon as we took it out of the box, guess what happened? This part broke. yippee ki -yay. Anyway, the, P the PPQ is a nice gun. I like it. It's got stability on it. It's really hard to cock back. But after a while... Ah, dang. It gets easier over time. So, yeah, like, if I'm, yeah, like, if I, um, but the thing about this, it's probably, it probably changes when, um, it probably changes when you put the silencer on, but when you shoot, here, look, the bullet goes up, if you can see it, I'm not sure if you could that time, hold on. Hold on, give me like one second, guys. If you couldn't see this, the bullet goes up. It went up, if you couldn't see. Anyway, the bullets go up. That's it for that matter, but... For the Walther P20, it's a nice... It's a good gun. It's got stability on it. It's a good gripping gun. I like it. It kind of looks like a Glock. No one else says it looks like a Glock but me. So this is probably the only pistol I say that looks like a Glock. Anyway. Um, it was a 20 buck gun. It came with 800 bullets. 400 of those bullets were... I'm sorry, let me just show you. They were blue. And another 400 were glow in the dark. So, if you want glow in the dark bullets, then... If you want glow in the dark bullets, blue bullets, and a good gun... But that's really hard to cock back. This is, well, this is the only other this is the only other spring action pistol I've gotten. So I can if I can't really tell you. But I know the other one's really easy to cock back, so. Anyway, in that case. Um, it's a nice gun. It's got stability on it. Thing is, prob this probably doesn't work with these silencers. I know I've said this a bunch of times, but the bullet will go up. And I know if that and I know that changes. Most likely, if you have the silencer on, because the silencer is straight and puts the bullet out. But, just to let you know, like, see, okay, right now, I'm going to aim down. If you can't tell, I'm aiming below it. I'm going to shoot, and it goes up. I shoot, and it goes up. But, other than that, it probably changes, like I keep saying. It probably changes after a while. Oh, did you see that? I made it in that one. Oh, I've been shooting this gun for a while, and I never got on recording, but I've actually been able to shoot it and get it inside the barrel. Oh, I'm going to have to go down there and look and show you. Anyway, other than that, it's a nice gun. It's got stability, and and if you're, or, and it's a really good gun for a cheap price. This gun was $22 on Amazon, and I got it in two days it's a really good gun stability it's cock it's spring action if you're not wanting spring action then don't buy this gun oh and also if you're if you're into more like realistic guns and i know a lot of guns probably do this um your gun at the end of the or the p the ppq at the end of the round when you cock it back for the final time stops right here and if you're wondering how to put it out of that you just see this little thing right there? You just push down on it and shoot again. And, and of course, it will keep doing that. Just to show that it's actually doing that. And it will do that. Not at close to the end of the round, but it does it at the exact end of the round. Okay, so one last thing before I finish up this video. Actually, a few more things. I know I've said this already but the cock back is really hard and that is being because if you look the really good part where you where 
I think where I cock it back the most is right here. And if I cock that back when it's loaded and I let it back and I'm still pressing down on it, my finger or my hand palm will get stuck inside the gun thing. The gun. I'm not sure what this area is, but it'll get stuck inside there and it'll hurt. Trust me. Um, other than that, one more thing I've got to cover before we end this video. Um, that if you want... If you have an unsafe family, there is a fire and safe option on this gun. And if you can tell, the fire and safe is right here. I don't think you can see it right now. I'll try to... Isn't it? But if you can't tell, this is fire. This is F for fire. This is S for safe. And simply how you do it. Is there's this little arrow right here and you twist it to the direct one but i'm not really good at i'm not really good at um twisting it because i'm not as strong as probably the users of these guns but yeah that's it for the gun for the magazine it's sturdy magazine um big bulky and the way you load it is you pull this string back see this string right here pull it back there's this little notch at the end of it you can hook it onto. You hold it there, clamp it, hold it upside down and shake it. Hold it at the end like this. Let go. And your mag will be full of bullets. I think the maximum you can get is 15. The max you can get is 15 in each clip. And that's if it loads right, which the bullets should go here 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 so on and you should get a sum of 15 bullets the way you can tell if it's cocked or not watch the back watch the back see you see the red dot in the back when i shoot it, it goes away but it kind of goes like to a metal -y thing it still stays there but there's still this metal thing and another way you can tell is another way if you're if you're blind for some from some reason you're shooting a gun blind just all you gotta do is make sure to cock it back cock, just cock it back see if there's a bullet in there and re reload it and for obvious reasons if you're like trying to make a mini movie on youtube what you should do make sure it's already loaded already loaded with a bullet when you take take the magazine out reload it pull it back like that and yes it does load like that which is really hard for me to show you you can reload it like that anyway that's it with the wolf of p20 i think it's a not p20 but the ppq it's a nice gun it's got a good grip on it if you're hard if it's hard to reload i would take a break after a while after you've reloaded it a bunch of times because this part of your hand, the wedge between your between your pointer finger and your thumb will start to get really red, see? And you should probably stop doing it for a little bit because that's probably unsafe or something. And But yeah, that's it for the P PPQ. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Helpful. And yeah, like and subscribe, please. Um, turn on post notifications if you can. And as always... Uh, I don't know how to do outros. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye.